Hello friends! This week for our exercise, I want to focus on balance and core strength and stretching our muscles. So I thought the best way that we can work on all three of those things is to try some yoga together. So I don't want anyone to be scared that I just said we're going to try yoga. We do not need a yoga mat. You don't need any special tools, just a couple feet of space to work on. The only thing you might want to consider is I'm going to be saying a lot of times right hand or right foot or left hand and left foot. And some of my friends struggle with that a little bit. So you might want to mark it somehow. Just to kind of help you guys out a little bit, I have a red sock on my right foot and a left so or a black sock on my left foot just to kind of help a little bit with the rights and lefts. This video is going to be most appropriate for my second through fifth graders. However, there are some first graders who I also think can do this video and do it well. I'm also going to be posting a modified version that has a chair in it for almost all the poses in case this one is a little bit too hard. So to start the video today, we're going to start in standing. So just like last week, we're going to practice pretending to be mindful. That way we can work on getting into the green zone so we're ready to listen, to focus, and to work hard. So we're going to take five big deep breaths. Ready? Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One. Two. Three. four, five. Okay, my body is ready to listen and to learn. All of the yoga poses that we're going to try today are going to be animal themed. So if you're someone who does a lot of yoga, these might be very familiar poses, but with different names. So the first one that we're going to try is a giraffe. Just like real giraffes, we're gonna to try to have long necks. We're gonna start with our feet apart, take our hands and we're gonna reach all the way up towards the ceiling. And I want you to pretend that your arms are reaching as high as you can, like you're a giraffe trying to reach at the very top of the tree. And we're gonna do this for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one, good job. Now we're gonna be try to be tigers. Tigers that are maybe looking or hunting for something. We're gonna take our right foot and we're gonna have a big step forward and our right hand is gonna reach forward. And that means our left leg is gonna be right behind it and it's gonna be straight and our arms are gonna be behind it. So this is that warrior pose or even that ninja pose that we do sometimes in therapy when we're learning how to throw things. If this is a little bit tough, I want you to bring your feet a little bit closer together. So that way they're kind of right behind each other with one foot in front of the other. For the ones that this is a little bit easier, I want you to step them a little bit further behind. Now that we're comfortable, we're gonna do it for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And now we're going to try it to the other side. So we're going to take our left leg, big step forward. We're going to take our left arm and reach it forward. And that means our right foot is going to be back with our right hand back. We're going to try to make our back leg straight and our front leg bent if you can. If not, just bring them you know, right behind each other, just like last time. And once we get comfortable, we're gonna hold it for five seconds. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Now everyone might wanna let out their biggest, best tiger growl. Roar! Okay, next up is a puma. A puma is another big jungle cat, but I don't know what kind of sound that it makes. So maybe, maybe one of you can tell me. To be a puma, it's very similar to our tiger pose. 
but our hands are going to be a little bit different this time. We're going to take our right foot to a big step forward. Our left foot is going to be turned in behind us. And this time, both of our hands are going to reach forward and up, like we're reaching for the ceiling. If this is a little bit hard, bring your left leg closer to your right one. Keep reaching for the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. And then let's try it with our other side. We're going to take our left leg, big step forward with our right leg behind, and both of our hands and reach it up towards the ceiling. Once we're comfortable for five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, we have one more big cat to pretend to be, and this one is a jaguar. So now the jaguars are fast. They're fast and when they run, they stretch their bodies out. So to become a jaguar, we're gonna try to stand on one foot and stretch our body out. Yep. We're gonna start with our right foot and plant it on the ground. Then with our left foot, we're gonna put just our big toe up behind us. So we wanna make sure that we're standing really, really strong through our right leg. And when you're ready, I want you to try to lift that back leg up so we're standing on our right leg only. If you get really good at it, we can even reach our hands forward or back. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's okay if you had to touch down a few times. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now we're gonna try to stand on our left leg like a jaguar. So we have our left leg plane it down. We're gonna reach our right leg behind us with our toe touching the ground first. And then once we get comfortable, we're gonna try to raise it up a little bit and put our hands back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Now we're gonna try to become some birds. The first bird that we're gonna try to be like is a crane. A crane has long skinny legs and sometimes they only stand on one foot, kind of like a flamingo. So to do that, we're gonna stand on our right leg. We're gonna take our left leg and bend it and hold it with our left hand. And with our right hand, we're gonna reach out forward, almost like it's a crane trying to catch a fish. Now, it's okay if this is hard or if you do need to hold on to something to make sure that you can stand up straight. The real goal of this one is to practice standing on one leg. And then if you can, reach that arm out. Five, four, three, two, one. And then now we're gonna try it with our left leg. Our left leg is down. We're gonna Bend our right leg, bring it all the way up here. And if you can, reach forward. You might have to have your arm out to the side. That would be okay too. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. The next bird that we're gonna try to become is like a peacock. Peacocks make super funny noises. So if anybody has a really good peacock impression, please send it to me. To become a peacock, we're going to reach our legs far apart. We're going to take our right hand and we're going to reach it all the way down towards our right toes. And it's okay if we don't get all the way down there. Maybe you're just touching your knee or your shin. And then we're going to take our left arm and reach it up and over our head, just like we're pretending to be those peacock's big feathers. You should feel a nice big stretch in your side. And we're going to go five, four, three, two, one. Now come all the way back up. And then we're going to take our left hand and reach down towards our left toes and reach our right arm up. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was a good 
good stretch. Okay, the last bird that I want to pretend to be is like a flamingo. So let's think about flamingos. Flamingos like to stand on one foot, right? So that's what we're going to try. We're going to put our right foot down on the ground and we're going to take our left leg up. We can have it like this or we can have it like this. So this is kind of also like a tree pose. We can have our hands like this, our hands like this, or if we want to be really like a flamingo, our hands up like this. Once we get comfortable, we're going to count to five seconds. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, guys. And now we're going to try it with our left leg. It's okay if our feet are always raised up off the ground. It's okay if they touch a couple times, by the way. So now stand on our left leg. We're going to bend our right leg up. We're going to put our arms out. So like this or like this. And then, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. We're almost done, guys. You're doing great. So the next animal pose I want to try, it's like a sheep. So think about sheep, they're going bah, 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 and they're always reaching towards the ground and they're trying to get grass. So I want you to stand with your feet apart and you're gonna reach down and try to touch your toes. It's okay if you don't actually touch your toes. Maybe we're gonna touch our thighs, our knees, or our shins, but our goal is just to try to reach down and stretch our legs. So think five, four, three, two, one. That's how I feel like a bat or a sheep would count. Okay. Now, thinking about other animals that like to eat grass, a zebra. So, the zebra pose is kind of like the windmills that we did last week. We're going to take our feet apart and our arms up in the air. We're going to take our left hand and we're going to touch our right foot and go down and back up. Then we're going to take our left hand, oh wait, our right hand, I'm sorry, right hand, and touch our left foot and bring it back up. So these are just like those windmills that we did last week. So we're going to do four more of those, take five all together. So we're going to do left hand to right foot, back up, right hand to left foot, and back up. Almost two. Three. Four. One more. Left hand. Right foot. Oh. Right hand. Left foot. Back up. Nice job, guys. All right. Now, we're going to practice to be a dog. So sometimes if you have a dog, you might see your dog stretch. So we're going to pretend to do that. So we're going to kind of come down to the ground, put our hands flat, and then we're going to stretch our legs out. And we're going to stretch, stretch, stretch. And it's okay if we want to bend our knees. And we're going to be here for five four, three, two, one. Good job. So now we're going to come down to the floor and we're going to lay on our bellies and we're going to try our Superman pose. So almost everybody has done a Superman pose with me. We're going to lay on our bellies. And then when I say ready, set, go, we're going to raise our arms and our legs up at the same time. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15. Good job. All right, two more poses. If you've ever done yoga with me in the classroom, you'll probably know that my favorite yoga pose is called a roly-poly. So to do a roly-poly, you're gonna come down on your back, bend your knees up, and we're gonna roll back and forth like we're a little roly-poly, like the bug. And we're gonna roll. I want everyone to try to do this five times. And it's okay if you don't come all the way up like I do. And on your last one, oh, lay it all the way down. And my favorite, second favorite pose is called a dreamer. We're just gonna lay here and take a deep breath and let our body calm down from our yoga exercise. So we might wanna take another big deep breath in and out. Maybe we can say something that we're dreaming about. Like, I wish that I was dreaming and that I was back in the classroom and having fun with all of you friends. And once you've laid here and you feel like your body is nice and calm, then you can get up. I hope that everyone enjoys doing yoga with me today. And I look forward from hearing from you guys. Bye.